Hello there and welcome to Alaska Scum. Deadliest catch with me, Stocko Gloss. How are you? Um, money, money. As you can probably see, we've got a different crew. Um, yeah, the uh, you might have noticed that the last episode it did finish quite abruptly, and that was because the game crashed. And uh, like a lemon, I did not save the game. So uh, I've been you know, sort of spamming. Uh, the save game, hoping it, will never, it won't happen again. But um, yep, yeah, we're here. Uh, we are now on the Titanic Mark III, <laughs> and I've kind of done some off-screen stuff just to get up to about where we were. Um, yeah, so so you know, 37% full. I'll give you some idea where we are. We're up this at this top here. I haven't been up here before, so I thought it was quite nice. You know, we took a long a long uh, boat trip up up to here, um, and it looks like the uh, the, the the selfish shellfish has come up with us, as well as the uh, the bearing star, sea star, and the northwestern's down at the bottom. Uh, we should have maybe come, come along here, but uh, I wanted to see what the fishing was like up here. This here, this is icebergs and, and ice, I believe. So as as things get colder, it kind of moves closer and closer. So you've got to keep an eye on it and make sure you don't get caught in that. You get caught in that, you're in a lot of trouble. Um, this season seems to be fairly short. Um, because we got a fleet total, uh, we got you got the same quota, but uh, it looks like people are catching a lot of crab. So we've got three quarters of a pounds, uh, three quarters of a million pounds of crab nearly caught, and the fleet quota is uh, one point one five. Well, yeah, one million one hundred and fifty thousand pounds. So, um, yeah, we're uh, we are going to finish off this. Uh, we're going to finish off this string. And then go back and then start stacking the pots because I don't think the season's going to last too much longer. Um, I've been seeing a lot of whales as well. <laughs> but yeah, the crew. Well, let's talk about the crew, shall we? Okay, we've got Edgar, which I wanted right from the start. Uh, he's on about 10%. He's on 10% salary, so he's, he's very expensive. But uh, he's a very good engineer, very good cook, first aid. He's the main man. Yeah, so we, so we got him. We got his best mate Matt as well. Uh, he, he's a six percent. He's a pretty good worker. He knows his stuff. Uh, I could probably give you the stats. Ah, oh, there you go. Salary six percent. Um, so there's his stats. He's he's yeah he's pretty good at cooking. Um, hook throwing. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's really good. Uh, here's Edgar. He's cooking, first aid, engineering, hook throwing. He, he's you know he's just just awesome. Uh, but yeah, yeah, salary at ten percent. He's he's quite expensive. But uh, we got our we got a Tico. Uh, he's at another six percent. Um, hook throwing and crane. Yeah, he, he's he's a good he's a good guy to have. Uh, I also got Josh, and I thought three percent was a steal for him. Um, so we we got Josh working with us. Um, he's got very good stamina and speed. Um, his other his other things are not so good, but you know for three percent. He's pretty good. And we got Kale. Uh, oh, 116. Awesome setback. Uh, we've got Kale as well, who, um, for 2%, he seems to be a good buy. I think Josh is probably our weakest link, to be honest. Uh, he's got. The reason why I went for him is because of the stamina and speed. And I didn't have a lot of choice of um, of crew to hire in uh, when I first. when I had to start the game again. Um, but. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, I think I might get rid of Josh, but at the moment, you know, the, the crew are working really well. Um, we had one accident, and that was poor Tico. He broke a finger, but um, hey, you know, it's the boss. What I'm feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. As you can see, he's uh, he's back to his normal self. So uh, he is out of work for a few hours, um, and you see the build-up of snow on the outside of the boats as well. We just need to keep on keep an eye on that so the boat doesn't start listing. Because it is fairly cold up here. You know, this is the northest, northest I've ever been. Um, so yeah, I hope we've uh, we caught up. Um, probably need to get you back on bait because we typical. Might... Yeah, because you're young. Go back on bait. There you go. Um, 
So yeah, 38.6%. We're doing really well. Um, I hope to finish this string off. And then what we'll do is we'll start stacking the start stacking the pots. Because I don't think I don't think we're gonna have too much longer to go. Once we've done this other once we picked up all these, I think that might be the end of the season. In fact, I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, and I don't know whether you get fined. Let's not talk about it. We don't want to jinx it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no idea what that means. Um, so what are you guys going to do with all that money? Yeah. I want to get myself a new bike. Oh, cool. Matt wants to get himself a new bike. Hey. Cool, man. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, I think you might get fined if you have pots in the water after the end of the season. So we just need to keep on keep an eye on that. I think that's how it works. I'm not 100 percent sure, but we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I don't know if it's listing. I think it might be slightly listing to that side. But uh, yeah, set back. But yeah, we're, we're 100 100 average on every pot is uh, is awesome. And I left them for about 40 hours or so. Um, Actually, let's go down and have a look. Uh, 42 hours, there we go. Um, so by the time we drove them back here, we're ready to go again. Um, I think we're on course, aren't we, for that? There we go. But yeah, things are going really well. Um, I've got to admit, I've had hardly any dramas, no worries so far. Um, we rested halfway through the string. Uh, just for a few hours, just to replenish everybody. But you can see everyone's spirits are really high. Even Kale, you know, he's, he's quite hard to please. Um, you know, he's in very good spirits. Uh, everybody is just ecstatic. We're, we're, we're making so much money. Uh, you know, we've filled up the boat 40% fill. Uh, filled up so far. So, yeah, things are going really, really well. Uh, I think we've got Tico on the, uh, uh, on the hook. And he's been throwing really, you know, I say that and he misses. <laughs> but he's been throwing really well. Um, so I haven't had to just stop for very long. If at all, really. Uh, he seems to do it on the fly. So this string's been fairly quick for me. Um, yeah, so I'm good tonight to start again. Um, but to be honest, uh, <laughs> we, used a lot, yeah, we were very unlucky in the last game. Wow. I'm going to continue this series as like you know all one let's play, but yeah, the, the last boat, Titanic Mark Two, was um, yeah, it was a bit uh, uh, error prone. Uh, we've had a few uh, few items break, but luckily because we got a good engineer on board, Edgar's been able to fix it, so we haven't had to go back to port. Um, so that saves us a lot of time, you know. So Ooh, I think there's some serious money in there. There is Tico. Um, so I think. You know, spending the extra couple of percent uh, on getting Edgar on board, I think was really worth it. Um, like I say, Josh is probably the only person I'm thinking of maybe changing out, but I'm not quite sure for who. Um, and maybe Kale as well, I don't know. His attitude, you know, he, he, he hasn't got the best attitude. Um, yeah, but so far, so good. I'm quite pleased. Okay, you could probably stop baiting now. Let's get you back All on the All right, deck. let's do All right. We got enough there. It's 11. That'll keep us going for a while. Okay, hopefully he'll do this in one hit. He's been really good. He's been doing a lot. See, oh, that's a good throw. Boom. Get in, Tico. So we'll finish off this string. We'll knock some ice off, because you've got to clear the ice off the boat. Uh, it does weigh a lot. Um, we certainly don't want to get in any trouble with that. Um, I say we've got to keep an eye on that, uh, that there. We could lose our pots if we don't pick them up. So we'll finish this off. Actually, I might start stacking them now. I know it seems a bit crazy, but um, yeah, we'll start stack stacking them now. How's the crab cake looking? Okay, it hasn't changed. I'm just a bit worried. I got ice in my boots. No, stop whining. Come on, Edgar. 
I expect it from everybody else. Will officially close in 24 hours. There we go. So we have got a lot of work to do in 24 hours. We've got to stack all our pots and get them back aboard. After you haul your first pot, you're going to need to decide whether to stack it or set it back and rebait it. Depending on how much crab is in there, you might want to just try that area one more time. That's up to you. Remember, if there's nothing in them, get them on board and get them moved. Wise words by the SIG. But uh, 114, I hate not setting back, but we've got to start stacking them. Um, Hope the whole string looks like this. We've got to start stack stacking the pots, um, which takes a bit more energy, you know, rather than setting back. But we can't afford to uh, have pots in the water by the sun, by uh, season end. Yeah, 116. That was quite a big. Come on then, let's, uh, let's speed things up. Ah. What oh, did no. we do wrong to deserve this luck? Uh oh, what's happened? Has he just knocked himself out? What's what's going on? Oh, oh, he's alive. That's good. Oh, he's injured. Who was that? Edgar. That's injured. There was me saying that. It's you know, relatively uh, you know, painless at the moment. It's all all going well. Just when we need Edgar the most, I think that's Edgar. Oh no, oh no, it's Josh. Ah, Josh is injured. He's gonna be fine. Edgar has just thrown his back out of place. It's no big deal. Just give him three hours to rest, and you'll be fine. Okay, okay. So it is Edgar, but Josh is giving him. Oh, okay, what's his first aid like? Oh, it's pretty high. Okay, cool. Oh, it's a big blow losing Edgar for three hours. Um, season end is in 23 hours. So. Urgh. Well, let's. Uh, I think that's the last one. Let's start heading back then. Now we've got a stack. So yeah, we're burning rubber now. We've got to, uh, yeah, you can't really burn rubber on the sea, I know. But we've got to get back. We've got to get back and start stacking these pots. We, we can't have any pots in the water by the time season ends. It's such a long-winded process. So, yeah, that's had 22 in. Do you know what? That's, that's fine. Uh, do I need that? So once that's stacked, everybody can have, everybody can have a break while we travel to our next place. There we go, cool. All right, clear the deck, or clear the uh, clear the crab, and then we do some uh, some ice breaking. Gonna sort of hit the uh, hit the ship with the mallet. There you go. You can see the ice coming off. Yeah, the people are going in there. They're not going to bed. They're going to be doing the roof and round the sides. You can see us heading back. I don't think I want to be going that fast, to be honest, because it'd be wasting a lot of uh, a lot of fuel. Okay, that's better. It's starting to look a bit, a uh, bit more like my ship now.
Yeah, the ice is coming off it slowly. Right, there was quite a bit of ice on this side. The quicker you do it, the quicker we, uh... The quicker we all have a rest. I thought it used to tell you how long it would take to get there. But, uh, I see it doesn't. I can't feel my fingers. Suck Stop. it up. Suck it up. <laughs> Come on, we nearly finished. I don't think we was in danger or anything like that with this, with, you know, with the ice. But uh, there we go. It's all starting to come off now. It's certainly best not to have the ice on there. <laughs> as soon as they finish, uh, it all comes back. But at least I know it's just all sort of residue. That's fine. Okay, let's. Uh, they all have some. Okay, good. Have some rest. You're going to need it. Okay. No, not pots. When the season is getting close to an end, a lot of times a guy is smarter off by actually quitting a couple hours early and beating the mad dash of boats that are heading into town to unload. The reason for this is that if you're going to wait behind 40, 50, 60 boats, and it may take you several days to get unloaded, you risk your crab or dead loss. And if your crab are dying in your tank because you're the last guy that unloaded, it's not really worth sticking it out to the very bitter end. Okay. Well, we need to pick up our pots. I think we've probably taken out too much, too many pots. I think for this first season. Um, let's try and. Okay, so let's pick up our pots. Here we are, freezing our... Uh. Oh, freezing your what off? Okay, the ice looks okay. Yeah, that's fine. Whoa. Slow down. Can you hit that? Kind of. Yes, he has. Fair play. I do want to get closer to these pots. So let's kind of go that way. Right, we've got to be quick. Now these are that these haven't had much of a soak. I think they've had a yeah about a twenty, about a twenty-five to twenty-nine hour soak. Season ends in thirteen, so we've got thirteen hours to basically pick up this string of pots and stack them. I don't think we're going to do it, but we will try. There's a hundred crab in there. Cha-ching, baby! Yeah, I don't think we're going to do it. I think we're going to get fined, but... Uh, hopefully, the fine's less, depending on how many actually pots you've got out.
Wow, it takes so long to stack the pots. Can you hit it from there? Yes, you can. Wow, okay. Awesome. Kind of coming in this way a bit more. I see no more boats out. Everybody's going back to harbour. Yeah, I think we should have maybe done two strings or, or just one string of a hundred. I think taking out 150 pots. And 18. Wow. Whew, there's some serious. It might be worth it. Yeah, just just keep fishing right up to season's end. You know, because the amount of amount of uh, crab we're putting in, it might more than pay for the fine. You know, so we'd be better off money wise. I don't know how much the fine is for having having the pots in, but everybody's good on energy. Everybody's like really really happy. So we should be okay to uh, to get these as quickly as possible. There's a lot of pots there. <laughs> what did oh. we do wrong to deserve this luck? Oh no, Edgar is back again. Come on, Edgar. So you stuff out, bro. We ain't got time for this. Okay, Josh is taking him into uh, to get looked at. Ah, it looks like a nice pot. He's gonna be fine. Oh, another three hours of that Edgar. Urgh. Well, we're gonna have to carry on doing it, guys. What about Edgar? 122. Woo. We hit the jackpot. We might be fairly... If we manage to pull all these pots by the time the season ends, we might be in a good position to actually get close to filling this, uh, filling this ship. As you can see, the, uh, the weather's picked up slightly. Uh, I think because we're so far north of the uh, harbour, you know, the weather is uh, probably a bit... bit worse than it would be if we was uh, near the coast. Although there is a coast somewhere around here. Is Josh back on deck yet? Yeah. Okay, so we've got four people on deck, which is good. Good throw. Great throw. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, it's a shame to like to stop when you're on the good crab. You know, having to stack these pots. Oh, just want to carry on going. So yeah, we might need to think about Edgar then. You know, it's it's all very well having somebody who's very good at engineering, very good Hope at cooking. The whole string looks like this. Yeah, me too, Matt. Um, but if he's going to be out, you know, if he works three hours, then has his back out for three hours. Uh, it's not really fair on everybody else, and ten percent is a lot of money. You know, to be stuck in sick bay. Oh. So. We got a man down. Oh no. Oh no, come on. Not now. It's been going so well. I think you guys are jinxing it. <laughs> like literally nothing like this happened when I caught up. 
Oh no! So you got another man down. Who's, who's injured? I think that might be Kale. He's gonna be fine. Kale has a broken finger and I can put a splint on it and he should be able to work with it. He should give it a complete rest for at least four hours first. Oh man. Unfortunately, you can't run the deck with two people. So we're waiting for Josh to uh, finish doing his thing. Oh, this is mad. Um, I haven't got time to waste by like just fast forward. Oh, there is a there is a ship out there. There's a boat. Out. Who's that over there? That is the shellfish. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't got time to fast forward it or anything. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait here. But what I'll do is I won't uh, let you guys wait. I'll uh, be back in a second once uh, once Josh is back. Perfect harmony. I got twenty acres and you got 